Hi, we are Brennan and Michael Newell, and we are here today to talk about uh, how we've seen the glory of God in our family. And we actually have seen it through uh, watching Gabe and Lily and seeing how God works in their lives. Um, specifically, when Gabe was born, uh, he was diagnosed with um, spinal dysplasia, and they told me at the time that he would have uh, some severe difficulties with everything from um, possibly heart issues to um, headaches and chronic ear infections and a lot of physical uh, issues as well as possibly developmental delays. And he was looked at from people at um, Emory and Crawford, Emory Crawford Long um, and Cedar sinai uh, which is the skeletal dysplasia center uh, number one in the world. And they all agreed that this is what he would have and probably be faced with his whole life. And actually it turned out hardly any of those have come to fruition except for he does have um, some issues with dyslexia and dysgraphia and sensory disorders, um, ADHD, some things like that. And we've just seen God work in his life um, by putting people in his path that have been able to help him and us as a family. Um, starting from his diagnosis, a teacher was able to quickly uh, assess that this is possibly what he had. Um, it was not clear to me because all I knew was he had difficulties tying his shoes or uh, learning left from right or writing his name, but I didn't know that that's what this was. Um, and then at the time, the same time he was diagnosed with this, uh, I was becoming a single mom uh, my husband, my ex-husband and I were getting a divorce and he did not really um, understand the diagnosis or want to support us in getting his treatment. So one of the ladies that um, was friends of his teacher said that she would assist us in providing treatment for him and therapy at a very reduced rate. Typically it's about $70 an hour for this therapy and uh, she actually would help us for $5 an hour. So she was put in our life, the teacher was put in our life. Um, even as a single mom, I felt supported and that God was working uh, with Gabe and with us. And then when uh, I met Michael and we ended up moving to Texas, um, I felt this even more. And so moving to Texas obviously created uh, a whole new set of challenges because there was now a whole new, not only a whole new family dynamic, but now a whole new environment um, with which that we had to become accustomed to. So we were, we were fortunate through God's blessings right from the very beginning um, at McClure Elementary School, they recognized um, the issues that Gabe would have to be that Gabe was challenged with and provided some support in in that area and then we also had a bit of a, a, a period of time where Lily had to grow accustomed to sort of moving the, away from the only home that she knew to, to someplace new and we were blessed at that time to meet Lori Mickey for the first time and as a result we um, were then introduced to St. Andrews which we're uh, members of today but also through neighbors in our neighborhood, we met a tutor that worked with Gabe that um, also was a former teacher at the Shelton School, which specializes in the learning differences that Gabe experienced. So we were able to get Gabe into Shelton, which was a godsend for Gabe because his, his advancement academically was so much more significant through his experience at Shelton. And we've been through that experience now that um, he's been able to come back out into a more of a mainstream school and a faith-based school through McKinney Christian, and he's growing and flourishing um, through their um, academic program and their spiritual guidance, and of course, through the spiritual guidance of the church, and Lily is doing wonderfully. She's um, grown into a teenager as of next week um, and has adapted to her time now here in, in Texas, and we just believe that it's just God's blessings just sort of sprinkled along the way that have helped us successfully so far make this journey. That's it. <laughs> Thank you.